This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that never mind the quality, feel the width is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Jim Norton played the character Father Ignatius in the sitcom when he was 32 in 1970. See, at the age of 86, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Dublin, Ireland. Said, it is in your interest to tell me about what I want to know and about what I am asking about. And he said, just tell me what you want to know. I said, tell me about the Legion Hall. <laughs> yeah. uh, where's Grandad? Yeah, she. Hey. 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 <laughs> You've let your hair grow long. Yeah, yeah, uh, we'll have a seat. John Bluthor played the character Manny Cohen in the sitcom when he was 38 years old in 1967. Sadly, on November 15, 2018, he left us due to a stroke at 89 in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Well now, Mr. Kelly, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Just a little gift in appreciation. Oh, that's very kind of you, sister. It is, it is, right enough. God bless you, it is. Come on, Cranks. Up, up, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> John Lyons played the character Fred in the sitcom when he was 28 years old in 1971. See, at the age of 80, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Whitechapel, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. How about Woodward? I know a bit about that. I mean, on the buses in particular, you know, that was all about girls with, with breasts and mini skirts and what have you. you want Joe Lynch played the character Patrick Kelly in the sitcom when he was 41 years old in 1967. Sadly, on August 1, 2001, he left us due to a heart attack at 75 in Alicante, Spain. We're deeply saddened by his passing. If he wasn't, then who was he? He was a religious minister. In that case, why was he never recognized by the Orthodox Jews? He has spread both ends, met at his collar, stood his head, fell off. Still the better man. And the Michael Robbins played the character Station Surgeon in the sitcom when he was 37 in 1967. Sadly, on December 11, 1992, he left us due to prostate cancer at 62 in Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Nicholas presenting the Out Islands Yachting Trophy at Nassau. We'll say what? I'll read the dates they were taken on. 10th of July 1968, 10th of July 1968. Yes, I've been led to believe, Mr. Meldrew. There's only one question I want to ask you, and that is, do you or do you not wish to keep that allotment? David Kelly played the character Sean O'Riordan in the sitcom when he was 41 in 1970. Sadly, on February 12, 2012, he left us due to a short illness at 82 in 13 Gold Town, Dublin, Ireland. We're deeply saddened by his passing. And it was one line in A Terrible Beauty, a terrible beauty yeah. with um, Robert Mitchum. Bernard Spear played the character Lutus in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1969. Sadly, on May 9, 2003, he left us due to cancer at 83 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. I didn't know you were holding a service in here in the workroom. He's only practicing for the cutler's job. Well, what happened to Morris Silverman? Don't tell me. His wife found out about Deirdre. She said, keep cutting, I'll tell you. Cuts a few more slices. He says, you got a party in the house? He said, what's your business? Keep cutting. He cuts a few more. He says, you got perhaps a bar mitzvah in the... David Nedham played the character Robbie Stone in the sitcom when he was 45 years old in 1970. Sadly, on March 11, 2008, he left us due to illness at 83 in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Can you raise that much cash by tomorrow? That will have to. Signore, to turn this over to the police would be most wise. To turn this over to the police would be... 
Michael Brennan played the character Mick in the sitcom when he was 58 in 1970. Sadly, on June 29, 1982, he left his duty illness at 69 in Chichester, Sussex, England. Were deeply saddened by his passing. That's a bit nasty, isn't it, Doctor? Yes. Yes, I'm afraid we'll have to laugh, sir. Oh, dear. It's fair to work with you, please. Fred Emney played the character Major Crawford in the sitcom when he was 69 in 1969. Sadly, on December 25, 1980, he left us by being murdered at 80 years old in Bognor Regis, Sussex, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. He said they're not open as yet. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> haven't, uh, haven't we met before? Sir? I don't rightly think I've had the... Harry Littlewood played the character Joe in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1971. Sadly, on December 26, 2003, he left us due to a stroke at 82 in Chelsea, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Go, Think so? No, sir. He should. He's been on the house since he was a lad. Uh, Bill, Bill Nagy played the character Lyndon in the sitcom when he was 48 in 1969. Sadly, on January 19, 1973, he left us due to a stroke at 51 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. You know something? His mm -hmm. papa, Southway Toby of Wedgwood. What's happening? What's a bit? Well, it means he's a kind of a lord or a duke of the cat. Ivor Salter played the character Big Jim O'Rourke in the sitcom when he was 45 years old in 1970. Sadly, on June 21st, 1991, he left us due to heart failure at 65 in Coventry, Warwickshire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Yeah. I reckon I've seen his picture in the Sunday paper. <laughs> Are these yours? <laughs> Don't check me, obviously. No. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Never Mind the Quality, Feel the Width? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.